OK, now over to Tim. And the Mastercraft Kitchen, and today you're cooking for dogs, is that correct? Well, technically I suppose we are. It's uh, Bicky Day for uh, the blind dogs, and so what they're encouraging people to do is bake a batch of cookies, sell them, and donate the profits, profits back to the uh, blind society. OK, hang on. So, so the way you just made that sound was like yeah. you're baking dog biscuits for blind dogs, but that's not true. No, <laughs> exactly. wait. OK. These are human biscuits. Rewind. Yes, so these are dogs, dogs for hu oh, dogs. These are biscuits <laughs> for humans in the shape of dogs. Oh, yeah. Yes. We have that. Yeah. <laughs> I got it out. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly whip up the dough and then we'll make uh, the dog biscuits <laughs> soon in the shape of dogs for humans. <laughs> we got it. <laughs> uh, so, what I've done is I've just added a bit of sugar and a bit of butter and we're going to cream that. Alright, and so what I'm doing here is I'm just mixing in the butter and the sugar and creating an absolute mess, as I always do. Look at those beaters, right? It's all for a good cause though. <laughs> yeah, we can say that today, yeah, can't yeah, we? Right. It's all for a good cause. <laughs> and they'll be delicious. This is some condensed milk that I'm just adding in there. Yum. Uh, some vanilla. And I'm going to whip that again and then simply fold through some flour and some baking uh, powder and come back to me soon. I'll finish this up and we'll roll it out and make some dogs. Now let's head over to the Mastercraft kitchen as Mike and Tim have a very special and cute guest. <laughs> yes, thank you. And she's not talking about us, sadly. Not at all. <laughs> she is talking about these gorgeous little puppies. It is time to introduce you to Paul Metcalf, the Guide Dogs National Manager who's come into the cafe today because today's a very important day, isn't it? It certainly is. National Vicky Dare. Nice. Yeah, we'll Vicky Dare. And that raises money, so the Royal New Zealand Foundation of the Blind can actually train these guide dogs. Yeah. And who have we got here? These dogs actually don't have names, do they? These don't have names just yet. They're, uh, they're just coming up to nine weeks old, so they're getting to the point where we will be giving them names. But these come from our S litter, so the, all the names will start with the letter S. OK, and I'll tell you what, I'll tell you very soon a way in which you can help name these dogs. So it's all about raising money today with what we like to call Bicky Day. Uh, go to bickyday.org.nz and that's what you're doing. Yeah, we're well, trying to. I'll to the puppy. Yeah. <laughs> you should do the cooking today. <laughs> oh, what a shame. I wish we could swap places. So how does Rare Bicky Day work? Because what people can do is register and they get a little cookie cutter and some recipes yep. and the money goes towards this, isn't it? Yeah, it's, uh, it, you know, obviously the, these guys lead to, lead to independence and our aim as a, as a foundation is life without limits for people who are blind to have low vision around New Zealand. Uh, and it's, it's not a cheap operation, but all of our funds come from the charitable dollar. So anything that people can do to help us with this, as you can see, they're very friendly. Uh, anything yes. that people can do, it really does go to a fantastic cause. Nice work. And how can you deny these little faces? I mean, they're going to help change people's lives, but aren't they just so cute? So how many do you need uh, in varies. New Zealand? We, we've got currently just under 230 working guide dogs. Right. Uh, we breed around about 100, 120 pups a year. Wow. Uh, and then it takes around about two years to actually get them up and ready to run as a guide dog. Nice work. OK, uh, well... Lots of numbers. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll um, help people out at home and you can make some bickies as well. What are you doing now, Tim? Where are you at? Well, so the dough from before, I combined it all, got my hands dirty and, and got in there and rolled it until I could roll it out with a, with a pin there. And, uh, and now I'm just punching little doggies into the dough. Nice. <laughs> I'm going to work on my language today, don't I? <laughs> Not these dogs. I know. So dog I'm making these. dog shapes using a bicky cutter. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Well, nice. No, so we're doing our bit here at the cafe, and you can do your bit as well. Uh, you know, when it comes to training a dog like this, how long does it take? It's, it's around about two years. We've got our own right. special breeding programme, so we, we make them from scratch. Um, they spend about nine weeks in our breeding centre, and then we'll put them out with one of our fantastic volunteers for about 12, 14 months, where they learn to go into all these places and behave themselves as they should. Oh, uh, it's a hard you life. Up. Hard life. <laughs> uh, and then they'll come in for about six months formal training. Nice work. So it uh, must be a very rewarding job, because not only awesome. do you get to spend time with these cute little puppies, but you also get to help people in their lives. It's fantastic, it? yeah. You really do make a change. And every time we come along to something like this, and this is helping the training as well, because nice. it's helping socialise them. Socialise them. So yeah. You're a guide dog trainer for the day. 
<laughs> nice. Oh, you are just so adorable. And how old are these puppies, did you these, say? These are just under nine weeks. Nine weeks. Sharp teeth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and sisters? Uh, yes, yes, these are both from the same litter. And why do you choose this particular breed of dog? Uh, well, we, we use five different breeds. Uh, uh -huh. We use Labradors, Retrievers, a cross between the two, uh, and occasionally we use some German Shepherds or Standard Poodles. Nice. And uh, around the world, these are, tend to be the, the real stock breeds because they're, they're tried, tested, they've got the right traits, the right temperaments, uh, they're the right size, so, yeah. Well, I tell you what, if you want to help out, just go to bickyday.org.nz. And the other thing is, too, is if you raise more than $100, you actually get the opportunity to go into a draw to name one of the guide dogs. So you can have a think about the name you're going to choose, because I know all of you will want to raise more than $100, but every little bit helps. So go and register right now. Uh, we're going to show you, because you get to use this little cookie cutter, which makes cute dogs, doesn't yeah. it, Tim? Yeah, they look just like them, don't they? I couldn't resist, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Coming for a cuddle. <laughs> Look, do, you, do you want to go? Do you want to cuddle? Yes, there I you do. go, Mel. Yeah. You take. Hello, you take S. Oh, we don't know the name yet. Come here. You're right. Here we go. Oh, it's so cute! Oh. I love coming to work on days like oh. this. Thank you so much for coming in today no and bringing problem. these fantastic little animals who are going to help people's lives in the future. So go and help them out. Bickyday.org.nz. Register now and you get yourself one of these little cookie cutters, and you also get some recipes. But of course, you are helping out. Let's head over to the Mastercraft kitchen okay. and check out Tim and his red Becky. Sorry, I was a bit distracted with those cute puppies, so I didn't let you finish off your biscuits. How are they looking now? Yeah, they're looking really good. Sorry, I was probably a bit distracted as well. Um, but what we've done is we've baked them for about 12 minutes until they've gone golden, taken them out and allowed them to firm up, and now Holly's helping me paint some little red jackets on them. So I'm doing a really bad job. <laughs> She's got the shakes there. Yeah, I get the shakes as well, so it's okay. It must be all us creative types, right? Yeah, it must be. All right, I'll bring these ones over. Okay. Nice work. And I'm just trying not to make it look like I've killed the dog. Yeah. <laughs> they look like little superheroes <laughs> from a certain angle. Oh, yeah, true. These poor dogs today. Although that one looked a little bit like a horse, but that's okay. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. okay, well, I'll tell you what. Can I eat one? Can yeah, absolutely. One? Yeah, I'm going to get in there. Absolutely. It's not really, it's not really good. Mm -mm. So you do that and then you have to talk. Go on. <laughs> What's on the menu tomorrow, Tim? <laughs> well, tomorrow, Mike, I'm doing bang-bang chicken. Yum. Bang-bang yeah. chicken sounds good.